Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Three tips here. It's day five in the Silver Cell series. You can see that silver's really getting chewed up in there by the electric current flow that we have. We're getting 1.3 amps at 3.6 volts. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to take this out of here. Just set it off to the side. Come down here and grab some silver. And recharge the anode filter with impure silver. things going moving along pretty good now with the increased amps that we've got and that's a day's worth of silver that's been consumed out of the anode basket and you can see here the amperage has bumped up just a little bit to 1.4 amps like I said this is day five of the silver cell operation look at that beautiful silver crystal growing in there now very nice there's the bottom of the anode basket and you see it when I lower the top the anode basket submerges and is suspended in the electrolyte you can see down in the cell down there that uh, the electrolyte level has dropped off just a bit so I think what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and add some more electrolyte in here I've got some silver nitrate electrolyte in this jar so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add some of this into the silver cell because as I pointed out in previous videos I had a little bit of a problem getting that lid off these ground glass seals seal up extremely well so now we're just going to add a little bit more of the electrolyte into the silver cell the silver in the electrolyte gets depleted as the cell operates it plates out on the inside of the cathode in there so we need to uh, raise that level with more electrolyte the physical level drops off due to evaporation and the silver in our silver nitrate electrolyte gets depleted because it plates out on the cathode as the cell operates some people have asked why do we even do this what's the purpose of refining the silver and uh, gosh I guess if you got to ask that question it's kind of telling in that most people are clueless about precious metals the silver in this silver cell is high purity silver very close to four nines fine and uh, every investment grade silver bar or silver round that is on this planet began life as pure silver crystal just like you see in this silver cell and so uh, silver is not really an investment silver is a store of value I'm not refining this silver from this impure shot into high purity silver to make a profit that is not my goal here because silver is not an investment I don't want to resell the silver after I get done refining it to make a profit with more paper dollars 
I mean, if you're into investing to gain paper wealth, then you should probably invest in paper. Silver and gold are not investments. They are stores of value. So what I do is I buy silver and I uh, collect it, convert as much of my paper into silver as quickly as I can because paper is declining in value rapidly whereas these metals are trending upwards so I'd rather store my wealth in the metal rather than in the paper now, right now I believe silver is artificially and grossly undervalued so the price means nothing and uh, I don't want to sell any silver right now with this uh, pricing system they have in place if those entities want you in their paper and they can't afford to have you converting your paper into metal so it's in their best interest to keep these prices suppressed all right this will conclude day five enough of my commentary about uh, why it's important to hold precious metals people that hold the precious metals I believe will be glad that they did and those who don't will wish that they had and this will conclude day five of the silver cell refining series of videos thank you for watching